Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi, everybody. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Hi. Very tired. Very tired. Yes. Why? A lot of work? Yes, a lot of work. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. What do you do to, re to get relaxed? I like listen to music and... ¿Cómo se dice en ocasiones? Sometimes. Uh, sometimes read the books and you sleep. Can say, you can say sometimes or you can say at times, for example, at times, en ocasiones. At times. At times. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Um, it's a pleasure to be with you one more time. This is the session number two, okay? Today I am feeling much better than yesterday. So that is good news for me and uh, for my students because I can speak better, clearer, and I have a little bit more energy, let's say. So we are going to get started in a moment. It's almost time. Thank you for being uh, here um early that is really really important i see ana maria let me check who else is here elena maide roberto isaac is here now and uh, milena and soveida okay we're getting connection with margarita here Okay, so um, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What did we do yesterday? What did we study? What did we practice? Tell me. The personal sentence? Personal sentences? Uh, like so giving some personal information, right? Yes. Uh -huh. For example. Uh, I spell my name, my last name. Okay. Yeah. We talked about different topics in different questions, right? We practice a little speaking. And we started with the unit right one that was please call me Beth okay so remember that you can find the videos right on the YouTube channel the recordings of every class so um we are ready to get started um Glenda is joining us now perfect so we are ready to go All right, now let's begin. Um, uh, something that I like to do at the beginning of my classes is that I like to practice a little speaking, right? So that students activate their English, their English uh, switch. Um, so yesterday we talked different questions. We, we talked about different questions, uh, different topics. Uh, for example, uh, what's your favorite hobby? Um, what was your favorite color? Uh, we talked about what kind of food you prefer, right? Tacos or pizza? So there were different questions. So right now we are going to discuss one question, okay? It's going to be about music. So uh, the question is very simple, okay? W think about one kind of music that you like and one kind of music that you don't like. So like the opposite, right? For example, in my case, the, 
a type of music that I like is, um, let's say soft rock, like kind of romantic rock. It's not like heavy metal, no. It's just like um, Aerosmith or Scorpions, something like that, right? Um, or Guns N' Roses. And one type of music that I don't like, uh, it's perreo, like the new music with Bad Bunny and Maluma, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I don't like it. So those, that is my information, right? One type of music that I like and what kind of music that I don't like, okay? So what can you tell us? What kind of music do you like and what kind of music you dislike? You don't like it. So uh, do we have one volunteer to break the ice? Yes, you can give a, simp a simple answer. Like, I like this and I don't like this type of music. That's it. OK, so who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere romper el hielo? Ana. Ana, excellent. <laughs> Okay, I like uh, pop music. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I don't like, um, how do you say uh, rock pesado? You like heavy mm. rock, heavy rock or heavy metal? That would heavy, be like heavy metal. Heavy, I think that's, metal. yeah. And so I don't, don't like music, rock pesado. I mm -hmm. don't know. <laughs> the, the heavy metal. Yeah, heavy metal. That's, I mean, <laughs> it's Spanglish. That's okay. Don't worry. Um, yeah, one student told me um, when I asked, uh, Did you finish? And then the student told me, Ya ratos finished, teacher. I was like, Okay. <laughs> so I understand, right? I understand the, the idea. Um, so, uh, Heavy metal, rock has a lot of classification, so it's kind of difficult to, to know all the different kinds of rock because they have crunch or cringe, I think. Uh, so it's, it's a complex topic. Next volunteer, thank you, Anna. Uh, don't forget about the reactions for your participations. Um, who's Elena. the next volunteer? Okay, Elena, excellent. Um... I like music rock. I don't like reggaeton. Okay. And the other que se parece reggaeton perreo. Perreo, uh huh. No, no. Yeah, it's a little different. There's a little difference there, but yeah. Uh, so you like pop? You said. Uh, no, no. Ni reggaeton ni perreo. Okay, okay. Got it. Excellent. Thank you so much, Elena. Who's next? Let's go with Isaac. Okay. I like uh, pop music and I don't like uh, rancheras. No sé cómo se dice. Rancheras. Okay. Yeah. We can call them rancheras. That's a typical kind of music, right? Uh, is Coldplay. Oh, nice. Coldplay is a really good band. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, in, in, that would be like soft rock. Yeah, soft rock. Uh, yeah, actually, now that you mentioned that uh, with the rancheras, yeah, I think uh, there are some that are not good, but there are some that are so-so, right? Like maybe because Vicente just passed away in memory of Vicente, we're going to say like rancheras are so-so. <laughs> okay, there are exceptions. Okay, Rodrigo Mejia, welcome. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Freddy uh, Marquez and I'm your English teacher in this, in this module. I see nice. Mar Okay, excellent. Welcome. Margarita Argueta. I think that I didn't see you yesterday. Uh, Gabriela. Welcome as well. 
And uh, if there is someone new in the class, please just say hello, right? So that we can uh, listen to you and we can see you, right? Now, let's move on. Um, somebody else, I need two, two more participants and then we continue with the next activity. Okay, Milena, go ahead. Hi, good evening. <laughs> One type yeah. music that I like is uh, soft rock, like Enanito Verdes, Héroe mm, del Silencio. Mm -hmm. I like uh, pop, romantic music. That's all. <laughs> and the music that you don't like? I don't like uh, metal, heavy metal. Heavy, heavy metal, rock. okay. I don't like it. Okay, got it. Like Sleep Sleep Nug, I think that's one band, or Ramstein. There are a lot of crazy rock bands. Yeah, I understand that. Okay, let's continue um, with the next ones. Rodrigo, would you like to share with us about your music preferences? Okay. Okay, my favorite kind of music, uh, romantic music. Okay. Uh, and yeah, romantic music. In like... English and in Spanish. In Spanish, like the Cardajona, uh -huh. yeah, like Maná, I yeah. like this kind of music, and I don't like, well, I think I like all kind of music because it depends <coughs> how I feel. Ah, okay, it depends when, on how you feel. When, when, when I'm with my girlfriend, <laughs> The romantic music is it's a very good idea, but uh -huh. when I'm in the beach and I listen to another kind of music like salsa, like, maybe or no reggae, mm -hmm. like like uh, uh, yeah. Ah, okay, like Bob Marley style, like reggae. Uh -huh. I'm in the beach and when I'm driving, I I prefer. Um, listen rock music uh-huh no why but when i'm driving i prefer rock music and excellent yeah i think yeah okay and my, name, my name is rodrigo and nice to meet you everyone okay nice to meet you rodrigo uh where are you where are you from i'm from el salvador and yeah which, my name is which oh, part Ah, I'm living We're in, 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 in Antiguo Cuscatlán, La, La Libertad. Okay, Antiguo Cuscatlán. Got it. Excellent. Okay, so let's move on. This is a picture that we took yesterday at the end of the session, right? So that you, uh, you see that I tried to stop the moment there. And uh, let's move on. So yesterday we were uh taking a look at different uh introducing ourselves right checking some personal information we practice a little bit and today we're oh. going to continue with uh, more practice so first of all uh, we are going to uh, study a little bit about uh, what's soul like well just in case uh soul that's the capital of korea right South Korea, right? Uh, Seoul. Uh, so we're going to, uh, you're going to listen to me and then you will practice. So Sunhi, this is David Garza. He's a new club member from Mexico. Nice to meet you, David. I'm Sunhi Park. Hi, so you're from Korea? That's right, I'm from Seoul. That's cool. What's soul like? It's really nice. It's big and very interest, very exciting. Sorry. And it's big and very exciting. So the question is, what's soul like? Okay. Um, now we're going to practice and then you're you're going to repeat and then you're going to practice with your classmates. So listen and repeat. Okay. You can keep the microphone off. That's that's not a problem, ¿ok? Pueden mantener el micrófono apagado, pero sí es importante que repitan las frases, ¿ok? Las conversaciones. <coughs> Aunque sea para ustedes mismos, sin tener que gritar y, y asustar a alguien en la casa, ¿verdad? Ok. Um, 
o despertar a alguien. So, son he, this is David Garza. He's a new club member from Mexico. Nice to meet you, David. I'm Son He Park. Hi. So you're from Korea? You're from Korea? That's right. I'm from Seoul. That's right. I'm from Seoul. That's cool. What's Seoul like? It's really nice. It's big and very exciting. It's big and very exciting. Okay, so that's a very short conversation between, well, first of all, Beth and then Sunhi and then just David and Sunhi, right? So um, we are going to practice, but first we're going to do one little demo, right? So I need um, three volunteers. One is Beth, one Sunhi, and one is David. Okay, Rodrigo, Manuel, and Gladys. Okay, so the first three. Okay, aquí a ver quién levanta la mano más rápido. Okay, so Rodrigo, Manuel, and Gladys. Rodrigo, uh, you're going to be uh, yep. Sun Sunhi in this case. Manuel, you're going to be Beth and uh, Gladys, you're going to be David. Okay. Manuel, you start the conversation. From here, this is David Garza. He's a new club member from Mexico. Nice to meet you, David. I'm Son He Park. Hi. So, where are you from, Korea? That's right. I'm from Seoul. That's cool. What's Seoul, Seoul like? It's really nice. It's a big and very exciting. It's big and very exciting. Okay, class for your classmates. Thank you so much, guys. Um, so that's the example conversation of what you're going to be doing. All right, so now we are going to uh, move on and you are going to practice in the breakout rooms. So I'm going to send you with three more people. Let me check, I mean, two more people. So let me see how many are connected right now. Okay, perfect. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and here we go, three, three, Okay, this is not complete, so I'm going to. Okay. Do you have any questions about the pronunciation or vocabulary before so, you go to the so breakout rooms? Like. What's so like? What's so like? Como es Seoul, right? La, la capital de Corea. So they, this is about the character, a description, right? The, for example, what's El Salvador like? And you say, oh, it's a beautiful country. It's small, but it's full of different places to visit and amazing people, right? So that's a description that you can, you can give about El Salvador, okay? Um, let me check. Somebody was writing in the chat. Ah, okay, got it. So I am going to move. Okay, perfect. We're ready. So for this, you will have just three minutes. That's enough. Just try to practice the conversation and accept the invitation now. Don't forget to take the screenshot always. Okay. Let me check, Veronica.
Okay, Roberto and Veronica, are you there? Okay, we're just missing Roberto. All right, so we're ready. Hello. Hi. Okay. So, did you finish Hello. the practice? I can practice. Okay. Uh, do you have the conversation? Do you take the screenshot or not? No. Okay. No. Let me share the screen with you. Okay. So you can practice now. My day, Margarita and Milena. M, M, M. Triple M. M, M, M. And <laughs> yeah, Teresa cannot practice right now, but she's listening. Hello. Hi. Okay. Hi. So, my day, you start the conversation. Please. Yes. Then, Margarita, you continue with Sanghi. And, Milena, you will be David. Okay. All right. Right. My day? Yeah. So he, this is David Garza. He's a new club member from Mexico. Okay. Uh, well, I, apparently Margarita has some problems. So uh, you can continue with Sanghi, uh, Maide. Uh, nice to meet you, David. I am Sanghi Park. We cannot hear you, uh, Milena. Hello. There's a problem with the with the headphones, probably with with the headset. Hi. Yeah. Is now. It, now. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, hi. So you are from Korea. That's right. I am from Seoul. That's cool. What's what's so like? It's really nice. I be and very exis. It's exis. big and very exciting. 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 That's correct. It's it's big and very exciting. Yes. And um, you say the expression. That's right. That's right. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Where I'm okay. going to see you in a moment. Okay, Margarita, I think that you're having some internet connection problems, right? Sí, sí, me desconecté. Yeah. It's a, it's a shame, but don't worry. You will have more opportunities to practice today. Okay. okay. So let's continue. Let's go. Okay, so this is the conversation that you just finished practicing. Um uh, so some pronunciation uh, that we have to uh, pay more attention to, for example, the words um, club, right? The majority of people see the word like club, ah, club. But uh, in Spanish, we, we say club, right? But 
that word is actually in English. Uh, so that would be cloth. Uh, then oh. another word that you have to pay attention to. Let me check here. So we say cloth. Cloth. Okay. Um, in this case, exciting. Exciting. Okay. And the expression, right? The, the, I mean, the question. What's like? What's like? So um, when we ask this question, we are asking about characteristics. We're asking about a description. Okay. Uh, for example, if I ask you, what's your family like? Uh, you say, oh, my family, it's really nice. Uh, I mean, um, they are funny. They're happy people. They are very generous, a little bit crazy. So it's for description, right? Uh, what's your job like? Como es tu trabajo, right? Like a description of your job. Uh, it's exciting. It's really interesting. I teach uh, English. So I love my job. So what's something like? Or you can describe a person, right? What's, um, let's suppose someone famous. What's Eugenio their best like? So you can um, give a description about him, right? Um, and then we move on to the next part. So I'm going to clear all drawings and move on to the next slide. So no questions, we go with the linked sounds. This is something that you have to remember, something very important, okay? Because uh, this is what we do to speak and to read faster, okay? To sound more natural. This is a strategy or this is a little technique, let's say, that can help you a lot to improve your fluency, okay? Your fluency in the language. So linked sound, like the word says link, when you, you know, like LinkedIn, the application uh, similar to Facebook, but it's more professional, LinkedIn. So link is a connection, right? A link. So we have a special link with our moms, for example, or we have a special link with our best friend or with a brother, with a sister. So there's a link. Um, between the father and the, and the son, the mother and the daughter, etc. So in English, or we can do um, these links or we can create these links um, when we are connecting the final uh, consonant with the beginning vowels that continue after them or that follow them. For example, I am a new club member. Okay, that's it, word by word. I am a new club member. But if you make a connection here, you can see it's possible to connect the consonant M with the vowel A, right? I'm a, right? So you say I'm a, I'm a, right? I'm a new club member. Okay, son, he. Sun, he, not, not possible, right? Because consonant, consonant, no connection. It's not possible to make a link. He is, he's mm, kind of, but over here, okay, is over, is over. Sun, he's over here, over there, he's over there, okay, is over. So that is a link sound. Next. We have, my name is Elizabeth Silva. So we have two links here, two link sounds. Okay, the first link is here and the other link is here. So name is, name is, why? Because when you say name, okay, you pay attention. Do we pronounce the letter E? Pronunciamos la letra E en cuando decimos name. No, right? We don't say namey or name or name. We say name with the sound M. So 
it's like the letter E doesn't exist. So we eliminate it, right? Um, so my name is, and then you connect is, this Z down here with Elizabeth, eh, right? My name is Elizabeth Silva. My name is, name is Elizabeth. My name is Elizabeth. So you make two connections there, two links. Okay, so when you say, if I ask you the question, right? What's your name? What's your name? I don't say, what is your name? Okay, uh, you say, what's your name? What's your, what's your? That's another connection. What's your, what's your name? My name is, my name is Slim Shady. No. Um, so you say, uh, in this case, name is, you make a connection there. My name is Freddie. My name is Elena. My name is Margarita. My name is Rodrigo. My name is Manuel. My name is uh, Jose, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Name is. So let's continue with some examples. I, I wrote these examples for you to practice. Okay, I need three volunteers. One volunteer for number one, one volunteer for the second one, and one volunteer for this. Okay, so we have Rodrigo. Can you read the number one, please? The first one. Ana Maria, you will help us with the second one. Thank you. And Manuel with number three. Okay, how do you read this? Okay, the worst word in the world is war. Okay, where is the link? Or where are the links in this, in this sentence? Um, the worst word the 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 connect word. Worst word. Worst word. Worst word. It's difficult to make a connection here, but oh, okay. here. Word in. Ah, uh, okay. Word in. Word in. Yeah. The connection is in the word in. Uh huh. Is there another connection? Yeah. The word in and in the word is. Okay, that's correct. So we have the word is word. Word is word. Yeah. Is word, is word. Uh -huh. Word is word. So there you have it. The worst word in the world, word in, and then world is. Correct. Yeah. The worst word in the world is word. That's correct. And then we continue with the second one. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. Good job. Uh, Ana Maria. Ana, okay. There is a lot of food in the oven. There is a lot of food in the oven. Uh, the oven. The oven. Uh -huh. Pronunciamos D porque la siguiente palabra empieza con sonido vocal. Okay. okay. So, the oven, the alphabet, uh -huh. the elephant. Okay. Excellent. So, can you identify the links here? Everybody? There is. Huh? Oh. There, there is. Uh -huh, there is. There is. Uh. Okay. There is. Here. Is a. Yes. Is a. Lot of. Lot of. Uh huh. For. In. Food in, uh huh. Food in. The oven. Dio, uh huh. Dio. In este caso unimos dos uh, sonidos de vocal. Dio. Okay, the yeah. oven. Okay, yeah, it's possible. The oven. So, um, can you say it again, please? There is a lot of food in the oven. There is a lot of food. In the oven. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> there is a lot of food in the oven. In the oven, that's correct. So um, you see, there is a big difference if you say there is a lot of food in the oven. So it sounds like a robot, right? It sounds like a robot. But what is the difference? 
you sound more natural when you make connections, when you make links. So there is a lot of food in the oven. Good. So you sound more like a like a native speaker, right? So it suena más como nativo because that's the way that they use it. It's like in Spanish, right? Um, let me see. There are in Spanish we have a, a way that we speak the language. Okay, that it's a little difficult for people who don't speak Spanish. Um, now. Let's go on with the last example. I think this was, who was a volunteer for this one? Manuel, right? Okay, yes. Manuel, number three, please. She's a new student in the old class. Okay, can you tell me where the links are? She's, she's a new. She's a, uh-huh, here we have she's one. We have another one here, uh-huh. Uh, student in, student, student in. in. Student in, uh -huh. student in, student in. The letter T becomes like an R, right? Because you say, she's a, she's a new student, student in, right? Student in, like R, instead of the letter Close. T. In our, in our, in okay, our. in our. Okay, excellent. So I am going to read the three. You will practice the three. And then I am going to ask you, well, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so we, in pairs so that you can practice saying the three phrases or the three sentences, sorry, to your partner, okay? So it's very important that you learn this. I tell you by my personal experience, when I, handle when I manage when I controlled or I mastered the ability of linking sounds my English became very fluent very spontaneous very natural and it helped me a lot okay in my personal experience that's that's what happened um, so uh, listen right just listen you can repeat if you want that's not a problem the worst word in the world is word there is a lot of food in the oven. She's a new student in our class. She's a new student in our class, in our, right? Our, in our class. So three sentences with link sounds, easy. So practice, okay? Take a screenshot right now. Eh, utilizamos los screenshots para cuando vayan a los breakout rooms, tengan el, el, la imagen, verdad, de lo que van a utilizar. So don't forget about that. Esas son las notas modernas, tomando capturas o fotos. Ok. En algún momento verán esas capturas o las utilizarán. Ok, so, um, let's see. Ready? Yes. Ok, good. So, we're going to break our rooms quickly. I am going to give you just uh, three minutes, one more time. So, in pairs, in pairs, you are going to activate your microphone and say the three sentences. First, one student, and then the other student. Okay, let's see. Um, going to create 10 breakout rooms. We go. Yes, complete, complete, complete. All right. So here we go. Ready, set, go. Teacher, por error creo que no le di aceptar. Okay, no problem. Let me check. Sorry. No problem, no problem. Uh, that was the room number two. Okay. okay. I'm going to send Thank you to the number five. Okay. Yancy, are you there? Dinora and Roberto. Hola. Hello. Este no. Did you receive the invitation? No. Okay, let me send you to another breakout room. Roberto. 
Roberto, are you there? Hello, hello, Roberto. No. Okay, did you receive the invitation, Roberto, to join the breakout room? No. Okay, let me send it again to you. Okay, the, okay, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> the, the worst word in the world is war. Yeah. There is a lot of work in the oven. She yeah. is a new student in our class. Hey, uh, please tell me the three sentences. Hello, hello, Mr. Cisnado. Can you hear me? No. Does your microphone work, uh, Roberto? Because I only see the, the messages through the chat. Oh, I got it. So that's the reason why you cannot speak. Okay, don't worry, it's just try to practice, right? That's something important. And uh, later we're going to be communicating uh, through um, the WhatsApp group probably, so you can um, send me the audio, right? Okay, the recordings with the, with the three sentences. Okay, so you can use the reactions uh, of thumbs up, right? If you finish the three sentences. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Was it easy? Was it difficult? Was it interesting for you? Um, well, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Okay, so I will tell you a little bit about a, a little parenthesis, right? Like a little recommendation. So in my case, when I learned this, I think it was in 2006. Okay, um, creo que fue en el 2006 que, que empecé a estudiar inglés. Um, when the teacher told me about the link sounds, I was like, ah, so that's the reason why people speak fast because they connect the sounds. So for me, it was like, like a, a aha moment, right? Uh, um, that's the secret, that's one of the secrets. So what I did, what I did as I had a lot of copies, a lot of uh, materials, right, on paper, um, what I did was to start uh, with a pencil, making the, the, the links, like marking all the connections. And then I started reading sentence by sentence, then paragraph, and then the complete page using all the links. So that's some, and I was reading out, out loud, right? Le, leer en voz alta. Eso, porque solo leo con la vista, no estoy realmente aprendiendo o mejorando la fluidez o la pronunciación. So um, that's something that I learned and I practice a lot. So when I was fluent enough, I said, okay, now I can speak with the teacher, right? So, um, for me, that was something really, really useful. Uh, it helped me a lot. Uh, so you can consider practicing or doing more of these kind of exercises, uh, linking sounds. So you know when the when the word finishes in a consonant and the next word starts with a vowel sound. Okay, connect them. Okay. 
Do you have any questions or comments about that? No. Nope. Okay. No. Okay. No. Excellent. So we continue. Okay. And the next part, it's a little bit easy, but it's important as well, is with the possessive adjectives. So um, it's something very simple, but sometimes we can get confused. Okay. Um, because it's easy to say, I'm from Mexico, I'm uh, Freddie, I'm a teacher. But when we start talking about other people, students get confused at the beginning, right? With he, she, and uh, we, and they, and the contractions. So for that reason, we are going to practice. Um, we have three parts. We have statements, we have the contraction of the verb be, and we have the possessive adjective. So um, I'm from Mexico, you're from Brazil, he's from Japan, she's a new club member, it's an exciting city, we're in the same class, they're my classmates. Okay, so we're going to practice pronunciation of the contractions. Okay, I'm, I'm, your, your, this is probably one of the most difficult ones, your, okay? In English, this is important because it's not you, right? It's not your or your, no, it's e, no es sonido de j, sino de e, you, right? You, but when it's a contraction, you are, it's not your, no, it's your, your, right? Um, so your is a contraction of you are. Next, he is, the contraction is his. The sound at the end is z, his, okay, his. Next, she's, she's, okay, she is, she's. Because if you say cheese, con el sonido de S al final, lo que están diciendo es queso. Okay, so cheese. My sister, queso, mi hermana, right? No, so it doesn't make sense. She's my sister. No, so we have to say uh, she's, she's, right? Sh, she's. And then we have it's, it's, we're. That's another word that people get confused. Uh, they say we are. Uh, so we're, we're is nowhere. Um, we're and then the last one they are is not there it's there there so uh teacher and what is the difference between there the ie there the they are is the spelling because we have a contraction and the context okay so they're my friends um they are my friends so in this case to practice okay to practice we are going to uh do an exercise and then you are going to practice giving information about people okay um so the possessive adjective for uh i is my my for you is your, for he is his, for she is her, for it, we use its with no apostrophe, for we, we say our, and for they, we use their. Examples. My my nephew's name is Marcella. Your um, nationality is Salvadorian. If I talk about plural, 
we can use your in plural and singular, right? Your nationality is um, Salvadorian. His, uh, let's talk about Messi, right? His, uh, his new team is Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, let's talk about uh, Scarlett Johansson. Uh, her famous role is the Black Widow. Her famous role is the Black Widow. Uh, let's talk about my house. Its color is light blue. Okay, talking about my the color of my house. Its color is blue. Um, our our class is interesting because we have students from different parts of El Salvador. Um, there, let's talk about uh, the United States. Their uh, country is large. It's really big. It's huge. Their country, right? Their territory in the United States there. So uh, those are examples. But now we have to complete the exercise. You have to complete the sentences and then tell your partner about yourself. So you take a screenshot, please. You are going to do this together in pairs. Okay, aquí si pueden darse copia porque van a trabajar en parejas. Okay, take a screenshot. You are going to complete these sentences using the possessive adjectives that we were practicing, okay? And also, um, the information that we have been studying. For example, number one, my name is David Garza. I'm from Mexico. Then you have to use the possessive adjective. What is the possessive adjective here? My. My. Uh -huh. My family my. is in Mexico City. My brother. What is the verb form? Is. Is. is is my brother is a university student name mm. is carlos uh -huh. El nombre his, de name is is. his name his, his name, name is carlos. okay his name. if you want to take a screenshot i'm going to go back to the to this so you can take a screenshot of this so this can be very useful for you Take a screenshot quickly. You will have five minutes, five minutes to complete the exercise. Okay, five, yeah. maximum six minutes. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. When, yes. people, when, people, yes. when somebody yeah. asks you, are you ready? You can answer. Yes, we are ready. Yes, yes. yes. No, I, yes. I, will tell, I will tell you one answer that is epic. Um, I was born ready. I was born ready. Cuando les pregunten, are you ready? Pueden responder. Individualmente, I was born ready. Together, we were I born, born ready. ready. Uh -huh. Nací listo, right? I was born ready. Okay, excellent. That is the attitude, right? Uh -huh. Let's go. Okay. Your time begins now. Okay, Alba, can you please accept the invitation to join the breakout room? Alba Aguilar, can you hear me? Yes, excellent. Oh. 
¿Cuánto te falta? ¿Hola? Hola, hola, señorita. Hola. Ok. Two. My name is... My name is... Tonji Park. I'm 20 years old. My sister is a student here. Oh, uy, ya terminó. No, no, todavía no. Ah, todavía no. 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 I'm, la otra? I'm just checking. I'm just checking if somebody <laughs> needs help. Hey, okay. Ya terminó, le dije. Don't worry. My sister is a student. Here's two. Here's two. Then the other. Are in Korea right now? Uh, I Elizabeth, but every everyone call me Beth. My last name is Sylvia. Pero creo que está hablando de ella, verdad? Entonces sería. Sí. Her last name. His, his, his last name. Last name. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Her mm. last name. Um, oh, no. sería my last name, teacher. In this case, uh, she's talking in first person. I am Elizabeth, or I'm Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. Oh. Uh -huh. Está hablando en primera persona de ella. Mm -hmm. I, uh, ah, okay. Sería oh, my, my last name. My last name is Sylvia. Uh -huh. Silva. Silva. Uh -huh. I am a student at City College. My parents. My parents. Um, ¿Qué sería ahí? Ay. My, My parents, parents are. Mm -hmm. Is. La otra sería in. No, perdón. In. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mis padres. You finish? Are no. In our... no yet. No, teacher. Okay, no problem. You have two minutes more. Okay, okay. Good. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mis uh, number three. My parents. Mm, my party. Sería are, are on vacation. Es que como están de vacaciones, mm -hmm. pero como se está hablando de ellos. Mm -hmm. Yo digo que sí, fíjese. No sé, teacher, help me. Uh -huh. no está, creo que, okay. My parents. Number three. Uh -huh, I'm plural. Yeah. Are on vacation. Are. Very good. Yes. Are. 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 Mm. Okay. Falta una. Falta in Los Angeles. That with. Uh -huh. uh, on vacation. Did with. I live in bueno live no 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 who are, who are they oh, talking yes. about it who are they talking about están de vacaciones ajá in in Los Angeles no sé. My parents are on vacation this week. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. In Los Angeles. Who are they talking about? ¿De quién se está hablando? De los padres. Uh -huh. De los papás. So what is the, the what is the pronoun that we can use for the parents? ¿Qué pronombre se podemos utilizar? Mm. 
I use they 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 yours they, uh, they, 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 they are they are yo iba a decir esa pero estaba con duda <laughs> Ay, así que no me arriesgué are. <laughs> they are you have to try, yes, have they to try. Are in okay thank you <laughs> you're thank welcome you. See you in a moment. Okay, so um, I hope that you could finish all the exercises. We're going to check the answers quickly together right now. Okay, so just activate your microphone. Anybody can give the answers, okay? Anybody can answer okay. the questions. You can answer the questions together if you want. That's okay. So, um, my brother. My brother. Is, is David is, Garza. Is, okay. Is. Yes. Um, here. Name. His name. His name. name. Okay, His number name. two. Name it's is mine. My name. I. My name. My name is Sun He Park. Okay. My, my name, name is Sun He Park. Uh huh. I'm 20 years old. My sister. Oh. Is is a student. Is a student. Is a student here too. Uh huh. Parents. My parents. My parents. Old parents. Old old parents. Our. Our parents. Our. 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 Okay. Our. I'm Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My. My. My, My last name is uh, Silva. I am. I am. The contraction for I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Okay. I'm a student at City College. My parents are on vacation. Are on vacation. Are on vacation this week. Are on vacation this week. There. They are. Hey. <laughs> what, is the, what is the pronunciation? There. There. Okay. There. 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 In Los Angeles. Okay. Wait. I'm going to do it again. Okay. There. In Los Angeles. There. In Los Angeles, California. Okay. There in Los Angeles. In Hollywood. Okay, there in Los <laughs> Angeles. That's correct. Excellent. So congrats. That's the correct answer to this exercise. Okay. Um, no questions here, right? No questions here. Everything is clear like coffee. So we continue. <laughs> And I'm going to, to pause the sharing here. Okay, so if you have a question, always ask the question, okay? Always ask the question. Okay, so uh, the time is over. However, um, I want you to anticipate. I'm going to tell you my second secret as a student. Okay, something that I used to do when I was a student, uh, I mean, I continue learning, right? I continue learning. Eh, nunca se deja de aprender, siempre somos estudiantes. Um, but something that I used to do when I was a student, like you, for example, I was working in the, uh, during the day and I was studying English at night. So it was difficult, right, to dedicate a lot of time to study and practice. So it's difficult. So what I used to do and something that I, I need you to do or I recommend you to do is to anticipate the next topic, anticipate the next exercise, anticipate the next activity, okay? Alone, by yourself. So try to understand or to have an idea so that in the next class, you, um, I mean, you can clarify, okay? The doubts, but you have more knowledge, right? Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a tip that I can give you, right? Es un pequeño tip 
que les podría dar para aquellos que quieren ir un poquito más rápido, que les da ansiedad, ¿verdad? Que terminan algo y quieren hacer algo más, pueden anticipar y, y ver la siguiente actividad o la siguiente, um, el siguiente tema que se va a estar cubriendo. So, tomorrow we are going to be practicing WH questions with B, with the verb to be. So, we're going to be practicing what, where, who, when, how, okay? So, if you want to study this, it's okay, you can do it. Ok, nadie los va a regañar porque se adelantan un poquito a estudiar o a hacer algún ejercicio. En la clase pueden corregir y preguntar. Pero en lo personal lo hacía para no ir desde cero a la siguiente clase. Ok, so it helped me to become a more independent learner. Me ayudó a ser más uh, um, what's the name? autodidacta, right? So, um, So that's an, a strategy, okay? That's a strategy that I can recommend you, okay? Uh, so that's all for today's session. Um, do you have any doubts, any comments? Time flies, guys. El tiempo vuela. Time passes by really, really fast. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so the time is over for today. But I would like to know if you have any, any questions, uh, any doubts. No, no questions. Teacher. No questions. No questions. Okay, so don't forget to start working on the platform. Okay, start working on the platform uh, with the exercises. Okay. So in the well, in the um, well, on the platform you will see this. Wait a second. Here. Okay, one point three. Is statements with be and possessive adjectives. You see, okay. it's right here. You you see the video, and after the video, you have the knowledge check, so you can complete this. So this oh. you can do it now. Hasta 1.4, 1.4 knowledge check ya pueden estar actualizados because we already finished, right? So um, tomorrow we're going to start with the 1.5 that is asking questions with the verb to be. So, uh, WH questions, right? With the verb to be. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much for being here today. Well, tonight, uh, it was a pleasure to see you, uh, take care of yourself and have a good day tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 Au revoir. Bye. I was born ready. I was born ready. Yeah, that's the phrase for the day. Yeah. Bye bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, very Rodrigo. Much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye bye.